Hello everyone! Welcome to our very first Steam Ahead To Go video of the year. We're starting off by lighting up these dark winter days with some paper circuit cards. Today we'll be making an ultra simple circuit that lights up two LEDs on a little note for someone special. Let's get started! First, decide where your lights will go on your card. I'm going to take these red LEDs and make them the blushing cheeks of this little seal. Poke a hole in the card where you want to put your lights. I'm using a thumbtack, but you could also use a sharp pencil, a needle, or ask an adult for help. Try to avoid getting too close to the edge because we need room above and below the lights to put down the copper tape that will connect our lights to our battery. Now put your hole poker to the side. We'll need it again later. Grab your circuit template and put it on the back of your card so that the holes you've poked are between the two gray lines. You can feel them with your fingers. If you're not sure if your spot for your lights might be too close to the edge, you can always use the template to help you see where on your card you can put holes before you poke any. Now just tape that template to the card. You can use regular tape, but I'm using this bright yellow stuff so you all can see what I'm doing. Make sure you don't tape down the part of the template you're going to fold over. That means don't go past the dotted line. You can fold over the flap now to see how it will sit. Perfect. Now let's make our connectors. Take your copper tape and measure how much you'll need for the long gray line. Just lay it down on top of it and mark with your finger or by folding it. Then chop off the extra. Then, you guessed it, we do the same thing with the short end. We gave you slightly more tape than you need, just to give you a little wiggle room. Maybe you can come up with a creative way to use that little bit extra. Now peel off the back of your long tape, but only a little bit of it. And this is easier if you have nails. Stick that little sticky bit to the end of the long gray line and then slowly unpeel the rest of the backing while you press the tape down on the card. It might get a little bit wrinkly, but that's okay. We just want to try to get it as smooth as we can. And then we're just going to do the same exact thing, but with the short line now. Once we get that tape down, we can grab our battery. These batteries have a positive and negative side, and it's important we get it right or the electricity won't flow through our circuit correctly. The positive side is easy to find. It has a big positive sign on it, and it's the only side with any writing. We want the positive side up, so just make sure you can always see the writing and you'll always get it right. But something's wrong. Only one copper strip should touch either side of the battery, but when I put it down on the card here, the bottom negative side touches both strips. How can we fix that? With tape! Put some tape down over the long copper tape where the bottom of the battery touches it. There's a box on your template to show you where. Now we can just tape down the battery, but we have to make sure we leave the middle part uncovered, so just tape the edges down. This way, when we fold over the flap, the long copper tape will touch the top of the battery and close our circuit. Make sure right now that yours does by folding it over and watching where the copper line goes. 
Perfect. Okay, last step, lights. First, grab your hole poker again and stick it through the same holes you made in the card so that now you also poke holes through the template. Now you can grab one of your LED lights. Do you see how one leg is longer than the other? The long leg is the positive end and the short leg is the negative end. Can you guess which leg touches which copper strip based on which copper strip touched which part of the battery? That's right, long to long and short to short. We made it simple for you. Push your LED's legs through one of the holes you punched. You might have to give a little extra push at the end to get the light to be pressed all the way against the card. Then fold your legs down so that the long, positive one touches the long copper tape and the short, negative one touches the short copper tape. Test that you have it right by pinching the legs against the copper and then folding the flap over so the long tape touches the top of the battery. This is kind of hard to do with only two hands. You can tell from how my light flickers that I have a hard time holding all those things in place. So ask someone in your family to help. If it doesn't light up, try switching which leg goes where. But if it does, tape those legs down. If you need to, cut your tape down to a better size. I did. Now we just do the same thing with the other LED. Remember, the long leg touches the long tape, and the short leg touches the short tape. If you get it backwards, the electricity won't be able to flow correctly, which will keep the light from lighting up. Once you have both lights taped in place, you might be done, as long as nothing's gone wrong. It looks like one of my lights isn't lighting up every time I press the flap down. I'm gonna try squeezing each of the legs in case one of them isn't touching the copper tight enough on its own. And look at that, this bottom leg, every time I squeeze it, the light comes on. Let's try re-taping that leg. I'm just going to peel up this tape. Once I can find a corner that wants to peel up. And then I'm going to move the leg just a little bit. Maybe it was at a funny angle that made it hard to be pressed down. Push it down real hard as I tape it back, and look! My lights are shining bright. What warm, rosy cheeks my seal has now. If your lights aren't working, try doing what I did, and then check out the troubleshooting guide in your kit for steps to solve the most common problems. If you're having a hard time understanding it, ask an adult for help reading it. And then once your lights are on, you're all done. All that's left to do now is to give your card to someone special, even if that someone special is yourself. By the way, this winter and spring, we really want to see your finished work. If you send us pictures of five completed projects, they can be take and makes, they can be steam ahead to go, they can be a mix of both, We'll give you a coupon for a free scoop of Stewart's ice cream at the end of the season, which is just in time for the start of warm weather. Have a great couple of weeks. 
I look forward to seeing all of your bright and shiny cards. And to all those steam heads out there, I'll see you later.